Hello, first grade writers. This video is for Thursday, April 2nd. And this lesson goes along with a story called Ralph Tells a Story by Abby Hanlon. We have a link to a YouTube version of that story down below. If you don't see that link or can't find it, you can go to YouTube and search for this story. There's a very good uh, read aloud on YouTube by, by someone else of this book. So stop the video now if you haven't heard this story yet and go listen to Ralph Tells a Story. Okay, we're back. You have listened to the story Ralph Tells a Story by Abby Hanlon. And in that story, Ralph could never think of anything to write about because he thought that nothing interesting ever happened to him. Then he realized that he could write stories about the little things in his daily life and they could become great stories. At the end of that book, we saw some of the many small things that Ralph decided to write about, like the time his brother ate hot sauce, the time milk came out of his nose, his bathroom emergency, the day his backpack was really heavy, and lots of other stories from Ralph's daily life. Let's think about some things from our daily lives that we can write about. These could be big events, like a trip you took with your family, or they could be very small things, like some of Ralph's examples. Today we're going to make a list of some of those ideas from our lives, and for each one we're just going to write a few words or one sentence to remind us of what that idea was, and we'll save these ideas to use later as writing topics. So I'm going to start my list right now. Remember, these could be big things or they could be pretty small things from your daily life. And as I think of some of the things I've been noticing over the last few days around my house, around my neighborhood, some things start to come to mind. Now, this is a list, okay, so we're not worried too much about having our uppercases and our periods and everything being perfect. Okay, this is just to get our ideas down. One of the first things that comes to mind to me is the dog across the street that never stops howling when he goes for walks. It's really funny, so I'm gonna write that one down. There I wrote the dog across the street that never stops howling when he goes for walks. Hmm, what else from my daily life do I notice that I could write about later? Oh, I've got a good one. There's a squirrel with one eye that digs through my recycling can and pulls out all the empty peanut butter jars. It's really funny. I keep finding those peanut butter jars in the yard. I'm going to write that down. There we go. So there are my first two ideas. I wrote the dog across the street that never stops howling when he goes for walks. And I wrote the squirrel who has one eye and takes peanut butter jars out of the recycling can. Again, this is a list. We're not worried about our sentences being perfect. I want you to pause the video and write down two or three of your own ideas from your from your own life. After you've done that, turn the video back on. We'll talk for a few more minutes. All right, so you've written down a few of your own ideas, and I'm going to continue with my list. So, so far I wrote about things that I notice in my neighborhood around me. I'm going to write about some things that have happened to me. One thing I just thought about was the time I bumped my head really hard on the corner of the table. Man, that hurt a lot. I also was thinking about how when I go for walks, my wife really loves to jump in puddles, but I don't really like it that much because it always splashes me. Another thing that I was thinking about is how my dog Wendy pees on all of the rugs in her house. Drives me crazy. You know, the other day, uh, I wasn't very nice to my sister, and she got really, really mad at me. So that's something I could write about someday. A couple weeks ago, I tried to grow lettuce plants, and it did not work. Also, when I walk around my neighborhood these days, I'm noticing a lot of plants that are starting to grow and change. Their leaves are coming out, some flowers are opening up. So now I've finished my list, and when you're done, we're going to write up here writing ideas as our title for this list. You can underline it if you'd like. I want you to take five or ten more minutes and write down more ideas from your daily life. Things you notice, things that have happened to you. They might feel like small things, but they can turn into great writing ideas. When you're done with this list, I need you to save this list in a safe place because we're going to go back and look at this a few more times over the next few weeks, and we might use some of these ideas. Okay, first grade, have fun with this, and, and don't forget, 
small things can become great writing topics. See you soon.